Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mesma channel. So today I bring you another classic for Red Stoners. Yes, you know what they say, every Red Stoner eventually has to do a calculator or a 3x3 three three door. So yeah, this is my calculator. Uh, and uh, the special thing about it is it's entirely uh, analog, so it doesn't use any binary calculations, no binary adders, no BCD, no conversions, it just does analog and even the displays back there are analog. <laughs> so uh, let's do uh, some quick demonstrations in here. So um, I can set the numbers directly in here. I could have used it uh, the same shift register I have on my combination lock and then it would be it would behave a lot like a real-life calculator but I decided to stick to uh, only what matters in there so inputs are just levers for now so uh, those up here are for the first number that you want to add and those down here are for the second number so you can control the digits individually so uh, let me try and demonstrate. So this is, would be two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. So you can see the numbers being displayed in there. Uh, by the way, any delays that you see in here are basically the displays. The displays are a little bit slow, but the calculations are are quite quick. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we can. Uh, add another number on top of that. Let's try to do something simple so that we can do the calculations in, in our hands. So let's add a 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, and 6 on this other side. And yeah, <laughs> what a surprise! The result is 77777. Yeah, and uh, yeah, if we take this guy out in here it will reveal <laughs> that our number indeed is one two three four five six okay uh, so besides addition it does subtraction as well so let's try some uh, simple numbers to do in here um, first maybe maybe I could I could show you um, one more addition so that you can see how fast it will propagate the carry so let's try to do all nines. So nine, 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 uh, <laughs> and plus one. And yeah, this is the carry being propagated. The calculation is already done. As I told you guys, the displays are slow uh, to update, but that's it. And uh, we are adding, so let's do subtraction now. I can just flip this lever and it will become subtraction instead of addition. So now it's 99998. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's try some easy numbers as well so we can do the calculations in our heads. Because of course, of course, the, the system works. <laughs> if I'm making a video, it's because the system works. Let's try something simple like maybe 25 minus uh, 13 could work yeah and the result is 12 as expected and here's the redstone so uh, this is just for the display this is the analog input for the display um, and the blue circuit here is uh, the actual brain of, of everything so it's the address the analog address the calculator is totally expandable so I can have as many digits as I want uh, no conversion to from binary to analog, as I mentioned ten times probably. <laughs> um, and yeah, the orange circuit is here to calculate uh, the complement, the analog complement. So, yeah, for instance, it complements to ten. So, uh, zero would complement to ten. Two would complement to eight. So, if you add both numbers together, it's, they will always add up to ten. This is what I use to do subtraction in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's let's show it yeah, in uh, show it working. So let's try maybe 55 plus 129. Let's see how much is this. So calculation is already done in here. It just has to display now. So result is 174. You can check in your own calculator. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you this, but it, it also does negative numbers. Uh, it has the, the negative uh, sign in there. Let's try something. Let's see, 40 
eight minus three hundred. Let's try this. Should be minus fifty two, right? So yeah, fifty two in there. Oh yeah, two hundred and fifty two. Okay, and the uh, the sign is there. So yeah, works for negative numbers as well. And finally, here uh, is a simplified version with only two digits to show how uh, the adders work, actually. So uh, here we have the input, it's going to be signal strength. So um, this furnace in here is just here to, to guarantee that the maximum input is not going to be 15, but 9, because this is the largest uh, digit that you can input. So let's try to do another simple calculation. So let's try 21 plus uh, 44. So you can see the digits in there. So the answer is 60. Five, all right. Uh, and uh, the the way this works is by using by cal by calculation calculating two equations, uh, which I detailed in here. So first of all, there is equation A, uh, which a lot of people are familiar with, uh, which is basically uh, when we want to add two numbers, we subtract both from a larger number. So let's work a example because equation A only works for small numbers or uh, to be more precise it works when the result is below 10. So let's try for instance to work the example 2 plus 4 uh, which should be 6 so 10 minus 2 is 8 and minus 4 is 4 again and if you subtract 4 which is the final result from 10 you get the 6. So this is how this works but if we put something larger like let's try 7 plus 7 so this would be 10 minus 7 which is 3 and 3 minus the other 7 will result in 0 because signal strength cannot go negative. And uh, this is the thing, when, the, when equation A fails, it will always output a 10 that we need to kill. And we also use this as carry, because we know that uh, the results for this equation is just too big to fit in a single digit, so we carry. This is what we do with this torch in here. So when the subtraction uh, becomes zero, we use this torch to block the output of this equation to come to uh, to this in here. So it basically kill the signal using this torch. We also grab uh, the signal from up here, and then this is used as carry. It carries uh, signal strength level one always. And uh, yeah, let's do the other case. Equation B is a lot simpler, but it's a lot smarter and a little bit counterintuitive. So we get, we, equation B will work for big numbers. So let's try first with small numbers. So let's try our example again. 2 plus 4 should be 6. So 10 minus 2 will be 8. And then we get, we get to do 4 minus 8, which will be 0. So for, for big numbers, it will always be 0, uh, which is OK, which is pretty fine. Uh, but if we try it with big numbers, so 7 plus 7 would be 10 minus 7, which is 3, and 7 minus 3 will be 4, which is the second digit of 14, which is the result that we are looking for. So uh, this one will calculate the second digit correctly, and then we have to, to use the carry to do this. So yeah, this, requ this equation will either result in x plus y or 10, uh, and this other one will always result in x plus y or 0. So in the end, uh, we can express the result by summing up whatever comes from equation A and equation B. And I added a little asterisk in here just to, uh, just to um, attempt to the fact that if it results in a 10, we need to kill the signal. So we use the torch in here. So yeah, those two equations make everything a lot easier to do in here, so no binary, no nothing. Uh, and finally, uh, if you're trying to design your own uh, analog adders, uh, you can use this little shortcut in here by realizing that, uh, by calling the, the complement, so um, realize here that in, in all the equations, in all the equations, you always have to work with the complement. It shows up in here and it shows up in here as well. So this is a shortcut. Uh, work with a direct value, which is x and the complement. So always use this. So if, you, if we call this little calculation p, uh, the addition of x plus y will always be either 10 minus p, so we need to complement the final result, or it will be p itself. And if it is p, then we need to to also uh, show the carry. 
So I hope it doesn't sound too confusing. I can pause the video in here and you can uh, print the screen or just pause your video to try and understand everything. Because this is all you need to make your own uh, uh, address in here. So yeah, this works. And I also want to show this little device because uh, this is what allows uh, this other guy to do subtraction. Because uh, in binary, what you do is you use choose complement, for instance, this is a, a method for uh, doing subtraction. And you can do the same with analog. So, but instead of inverting values, you have to do the complement. So uh, here, for instance, you can see that the input is zero and yeah, it's also zero at the output level. Let's try to flick one lever in here. So now the input is, I think it's a nine. <laughs> and of course it's a nine in here. But if I flick this lever, it will become uh, six, which is the complement to 15. So for instance, if I put 15 as input, the output will be zero. So it, it inverts. If the input is seven, the output will be eight because it's the complement to 15. It's the complement to 15 because I have a full signal in here. If I had a cake here, for instance, it will output a signal level of 14. So this number will be the complement to 14, so seven plus seven is 14. And uh, the cool thing is I can just use this lever and invert it. Uh, if, I, if I show you this here, uh, really, really cool thing is that I can, I can chain all of those together and I can uh, invert all of the inputs and outputs at the same time. To do subtraction, I basically, uh, I just forward one of the numbers and I invert the other one and then I do addition regular addition and then because I did this I have to invert again uh, at the output level and then I can get the subtractions uh, including the negative numbers. There is a little ex exception for negative numbers but I don't want to discuss this in here because this is really not important. It would be important if you wanted to make a calculator but adders can be used in other things, things other than calculators uh, depending on what you really want. Uh, and yeah I think I guess this is all the information that I can pass. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to copy this. The contents of the furnaces are uh, just this and this. Um, let me see. Yeah, those are here just to guarantee that the signal strength is not going to be above um, nine. And I don't think I have a, I have any in other furnaces to show the contents of. Yeah, that's it. I think that's all. If I miss it anything, you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Feedback is always very much appreciated and hope to see you soon. Bye.